In February 2013, brothers Rick and Marty Lagina traveled from Michigan to an island in the North Atlantic in an attempt to solve a 200-year-old mystery. Several generations of people have spent an enormous amount of money and risked life and limb and died looking for something here on Oak Island. There's been a constant history of people doing that. I mean, it seems like each person or group that gets involved and just doesn't give up until they either die or they go bankrupt. There's the famous Oak Island legend. Six people have died, then a seventh has to die. In search of the treasure. In search of the treasure, and that's when all will be revealed. When I was 11 years old, they read the story of Oak Island, and I was hooked. Brought it home and, and read it to my yeah, brother. Yeah, he shows it to me, and of course, you know, all the things people like, treasure, mystery, booby traps, had all the stuff that interests a kid. Adventure. Yeah, it's your big brother talking to you, too, you know, and he knows, he's, look what he's found, you know, wow, this is gonna be great. Two hundred years ago, some kids find an interesting spot up on Oak Island offshore in Nova Scotia. They dig, and they find some stones laid in, they find some planks, things that would have to be man-made. So they're sure they're onto something. It was the end of the piracy era, right? So everybody's thinking buried treasure. No matter how deep they get, they keep finding more planks that appear to be concealing something. They give up at about 20 feet deep because they're digging by hand. And then there's a succession of people that come back and they keep digging and they find more platforms every 10 feet and they find more odd stuff. A bit of chain, all kinds of wood that shouldn't be there. Down about 90 feet, they find a stone that's inscribed with strange engravings. Finally, someone else comes in and they find that the shaft that was actually booby-trapped, that there's a flood tunnel to the ocean and all of a sudden the water floods it. So then different people keep trying and trying, mining engineers, business people. President Franklin Roosevelt was involved. John Wayne was involved. Everyone wanted to get down to the bottom of this so-called money pit. As each successive treasure seeker goes through the years, they kept finding things that kept them going. Each time, it appears like there's more and more evidence of man-made formations underground. One of the participants noticed this little pea-sized little brown ball, and he unfurled it, and it turned out to be the little piece of parchment with an inscribed VI on it. And we're leaving out coconut fiber. There's yeah. been massive amounts of coconut fiber. Yeah. I mean, what the hell's that doing on Oak Island? We wanted to know what really happened. There's all kinds of theories. Certain people say that it's Knights Templar treasure. Another theory is that it's something from the Spanish plundering of the New World. And then there's some people who credibly believe that it's the lost manuscripts of Shakespeare. But the real core of the Oak Island story is who, why, when, where, how, that's what really got me. That's, for me, I, I was more interested in the treasure. <laughs> How much money do we have invested in this? We have millions of dollars invested in this. But it's not just an economic investment. I'm motivated by curiosity. I'm motivated by the hunt. I'm motivated by doing something with my brother that he has always dreamed about doing. It's about family. It's about love. And I love my brother. I mean, I wouldn't want anybody in this with me other than him. If at some point we're not successful, we know we tried together.